Hey everyone, this is Joseph with the Flying Pigeon Bike Shop and I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of what's in the shop this week. Um, off to my right and in the center of your frame are some really uh, beautiful bike baskets that we got from Quality Bike Parts in Minnesota. These are from uh, Uganda and they're hand woven. A portion of the proceeds goes to help with uh, development projects in that country and they're just really beautiful cute baskets. So we just got a bunch of them in stock. They're uh, all in various um, color patterns, each one's very unique, and they're very well made. Uh, tightly woven, nice fabric, nice, uh, nice reeds, and so they look like they've got a life, lot of, lot of life left in them. Um, not the kind of cheap, chintzy Chinese-made baskets that you often see in bike shops. So, uh, anyway, um, moving on, we've got a bunch. We've still got this uh, our four-year anniversary sale going on with bobbins. All of the bikes you see in front of us, the bobbin birdies, the vintage, the vintage deluxe, are all marked down one hundred dollars. Um, we've got some Brooks bags. Our, our walled basket set. We just got a bunch of Basil Memories baskets from uh, the Netherlands in the shop uh, about a week ago. And this is exciting. I promised it last this last weekend and I finally did it this week. Um, I built one of our two uh, Babo City bikes and took it for a spin. And I think this compares rather favorably to my own Work Cycles Bach Feats. Obviously, I don't think it's as good because I love my Bach Feats. I think it's the absolute best in the world. But um, this bike is about $1,000 less and it is surprisingly similar to the work cycles uh, of an Endel's Bach Feats. Um, I think the front fork has got a little more rake to it. Reminds me of the Gazelle Cabby uh, more than some of the other cargo bikes I've ridden in that it's a bit slack frame geometry. That makes it easier for people to get on and off of, but it also makes the bike feel a slight, slight bit more sluggish as the rider's weight is pushed back over the rear wheel some more. Needless to say, it's great if you're riding doing a lot of low-speed cargo carrying, which is typically what you do with a cargo bike. Um, you do a lot of window shopping, going to the park, carrying the kids. So yeah, Babo Bakvitz, ready to go. And this is an internal seven-speed, double roller brakes, um, Oxa Defender lock, comes with a fancy bell, and I believe it's a 200-pound weight capacity. We've got some Linus bikes um, in the shop. Pashley Roadster Sovereign there, uh, a Peelin Leaks in blue with silver fenders. Beater bikes, um, these are the $300 to $400 tanks that we sell in the shop now, and these are kind of the uh, all-around city bikes, some of my favorite bikes uh, that we sell this year. Got a bunch of Brook stuff, of course, as always. Nutcase helmets, we had a nice selection arrive a little while ago. We've also got a bunch of Burn stuff in inventory here, women's and men's helmets, mostly the Watt, Burn, uh, the Watt, Brentwood, and Berkeley patterns. A bunch of floor pumps from XLC, a beautiful Gazelle Tour Populaire, alongside a very high-tech Gazelle uh, Chamonix Pure. And these are kind of nice. We just got a big bundle of very cute Nantucket bike baskets, and they look great on the front of anybody's bike. Uh, that's about it. Our repair queue, once again, is chock full of bikes. I'm working on an awesome department store motive here. And, <laughs> all right. This Sunday, we're doing a dim sum ride. Uh, if you've got any questions, check out our website. We've got a Google Calendar link on the right-hand side of the page. It'll tell you more about it. I think this week we're going to try and head out to Alhambra to King Wall. Thanks for watching, everyone. Talk to you soon.